there is a possibility that incredibly dense and bizarre hypothetical cosmic phenomena, known as Ard Quark stars, exist somewhere in the cosmos. A group of physicists have discovered the remains of a neutron star merger that was spotted in 2019 has the exact mass required to be one of these unusual quark stars. This discovery comes at a time when astrophysicists are still debating the existence of quark stars. Cores of dying stars compress to such an extreme degree that they transform into other things when they finally collapse. For instance, when our sun dies, it will leave behind a white dwarf the size of our planet that is made up of very compressed carbon and oxygen atoms. Neutron stars are the remnants of catastrophic stellar explosions, known as supernovas, which occur when stars far bigger than our sun die. These tiny particles may weigh many times the mass of the sun, despite their enormous density. True to their namesake, neutron stars are basically kilometer-wide atomic nuclei, composed nearly entirely of neutrons. Even today, scientists do not have a complete understanding of neutron stars because of how rare and peculiar they are. It is possible to make accurate estimates about what happens to all neutron matter around the surface of neutron stars, based on observations of their interactions with their environments, but the exact composition of their cores remains unknown. Neutrons are not ideal candidates, since they are not really basic particles. Neutrons are composed of even smaller particles called quarks, despite the fact that they bundle with protons to create atomic nuclei. Up, down, top, bottom, weird, and charm are the six flavors of quarks. Two down quarks and one up quark create a neutron. When subjected to an excessive amount of pressure, atoms will spontaneously reform into a blob of neutrons. So, do neutrons return back to a gigantic ball of quarks if you squeeze them too much? Answers range from maybe to it's difficult. A major issue is that quarks hate being alone themselves. Quarks are held together in a nucleus by the strong nuclear force, which increases with increasing distance. The force pushing the two quarks apart rises as you attempt to draw them together. They eventually grow so attracted to one another that new particles, including new quarks, arise in the vacuum and are only too glad to connect with the previously separated ones. A neutron is composed of up and down quarks, and if you were to try to create a macroscopic thing out of them, it would explode extremely rapidly and very violently. However, unconventional quarks may provide a way forward. Strange quarks are very heavy when isolated, and they quickly decay into the lighter up and down quarks. However, the physics may alter when a high number of quarks assemble into a single particle. Under very high pressures, strange quarks may bond with up and down quarks to form triplets called strangelets, which may be stable, in the same vein as the intense pressures seen in the region just above a neutron star. If a neutron star is compressed enough, the neutrons lose their stability and the star implodes, creating a black hole. However, there may be a transitional stage, squished in between those two extremes. When pressures are great enough to disintegrate neutrons and generate an odd quark star, but not strong enough to completely overwhelm gravity. Since these things must be heavier than neutron stars, but lighter than black holes, there isn't a lot of wiggle space there, and therefore astronomers don't expect to discover many weird stars in the universe. Not only do we not know the specific masses where odd stars may occur, but we don't even comprehend the mechanics of strangelets. However, a group of scientists has just examined GW190425, a gravitational wave event recorded in 2019 that was generated by the merging of two neutron stars. Massive quantities of gravitational waves are created when neutron stars collide, and so is an explosion known as a kilonova, which is stronger than a nova but less intense than a supernova. While scientists did detect gravitational waves from this event, they were unable to record any electromagnetic signals. However, a comparable event in 2017 was seen, and both gravitational waves and radiation were detected. Depending on the masses of the neutron stars involved, the spin rates of the stars, and the direction of the collision, many different outcomes are possible during a merger. Theoretical models predict that neutron stars will either destroy each other, merge into a black hole, or create a neutron star with a slightly larger mass. This new study, which can be found in the archive preprint database, suggests that cosmic collisions of this kind might create an odd quark star. Using their calculations, the group determined that the mass of the merged object in 2019 was between 3.11 and 3.54 solar masses. It should have imploded into a black hole, because according to our current knowledge of neutron star construction, it is slightly too massive. Nonetheless, this mass is consistent with what is predicted by models of the architecture of these odd stars. Future observations and additional theoretical work may help astronomers identify a peculiar quark star, but for now, it's too soon to know whether GW190425 is the first sighting of one of these uncommon objects. Let us know what you think in the comment section below.
And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.